today I have a haul for you. This is a haul that is from various places. I shopped at the Dollar Tree, I shopped at Daiso, and I shopped at Timu. This is going to be a themed haul. I thought this would be really good to share with you guys. I've actually been accumulating things for my daughter because she's going to be going on a little trip with my sister and my mom and the kids. And so they'll be on the road and I thought that these things would come in handy. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so I'm gonna start off with the items from the Dollar Tree and then I'll go into Timu and then I'll go into Daiso. So if you don't know about Timu or Daiso, Timu is an app or a website that you can go to to find all kinds of cool items at a really low price. Daiso is a Japanese dollar store, basically. So they have all different types of items. Now their stuff isn't only a dollar. It ranges from like $1.75 to I think $15. Um, but the items here I got are all $1.75. So, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna share from the Dollar Tree, I went ahead and picked up these two little fans. They are gonna be going on a long drive and Everybody in the car kind of has like a different comfortable temperature, if you know what I mean. So if um, some of the people in the car are hot, then the kids can use these little fans to kind of cool themselves off. So I wanted to get my daughter that and then one for my niece. So whoever's like sitting together, they can just share them. So I went ahead and picked up those two and to go along with those, I went ahead and picked up these batteries. These are Panasonic AA batteries. They each, they each come with four in a pack. Now I would say that typically I don't buy the Dollar Tree brand, or I'm sorry, the Dollar Tree batteries. I usually go to Amazon and get them in bulk, but I was there and I just grabbed this. I'm hoping it's enough for them. So, so with that being said, now you know that these take two AA batteries. They do feel pretty cheap. Um, you might have to like tighten up the little screws on the side. I did have to do that with one of one of them, but they had teal, purple, and pink, and I went ahead and just grabbed the teal ones. The next thing I picked up I thought was pretty fun. This is a card game called Mishmash. It says collect all four, be the first to unscramble the sweet treat. It's for ages 12 plus and three plus players. So basically you have cards that have like scrambled up words and you have to figure out what those words actually say. Like for instance, it's a really scrambled up jumbled word and it really says hot fudge sundae. So they'll just sound silly trying to say these words and they'll have to figure out what the true word is. So I thought that that would be kind of fun for them if they're just sitting in the car. I also saw these two spray hand sanitizers. I thought these were kind of cool. I was just gonna have my daughter throw them in her little backpack that she's gonna be bringing her backpack purse. One of them is, what smell? The scent is lavender and the other scent is coconut. I think they're sealed. This one I took off. Let me see what it smells like. If it really smells like coconut. I mean, I'm spraying. Oh, it actually does really smell like coconut. That smells really good. So I'm gonna have her take those with her in the car or on the trip. I also went ahead and picked up this mesh bag. It's a mesh laundry bag. And this is just from Essentials. This is gonna be for her dirty clothes so she could throw them in here just kind of keep them separate. They do have um, laundry that they'll have to do on their trip. So they'll just be rewashing stuff. And then another thing I picked up that went with travel, I mean, she can't take this with her, but it could definitely be used for memories. This is by Crafter Square. It's stickers, paper craft, 10 pieces. I thought that that was really cute. So you could use this in a paper crafting thing if you're doing a journal, a scrapbook. I thought that that would be kind of fun. So I went ahead and picked up these two brush pods, one in blue, one in orange. They are by group. I can't talk to you guys. They are by Guru Nanda Signature or Nanda. So I went ahead and grabbed two of these. These are for myself and my husband. Whenever we go on a trip, we'll have those two to use. They're a little bit larger, so I feel like they would fit any size toothbrush really well. 
so okay so that is it from the dollar tree All right, so the next section of things that i'm going to share with you are from timu and i found a lot of great items there so be sure if you guys are going traveling if you're going on a trip make sure you check out their stuff because they have quite a bit All right, so the items from timu i'm just going to put a price here for you guys or a picture with the price on it so you guys can see um just because i didn't write all the prices down this one was a game called spot it on the road i thought that this one looked fun they had all different themes to it but this one is for on the road and what it is is they are just a stack of different cards i'm going to open it so i can share it with you guys but anything to keep the kids busy in the car is helpful you know it doesn't always have to be electronics and you lose Wi-Fi connection and stuff like that anyway. So so basically each card has different items on there. And as you're driving, you get to yell out or cross off what you have found. You could probably even use like Expo markers on here. Um, I'm not sure how the rules are, but there are directions in here. But basically they're just little cards and I'm guessing that you have to spot it and mark them off. So that seems kind of fun. Do you guys remember like driving and counting how many colored cards you found? Like say you chose black and your brother chose white or whatever. And so you guys are counting up your cars and you have like an hour and whoever comes out with the most cars wins or you're doing the license plate game or you're doing the, AB, the ABC game where you go through the alphabet and you have to find words that have that letter in it like the starting letter. I don't know, all those fun games that we used to play as kids when we didn't have electronics for the rides, you know? So the next thing I wanted to share, I have shared one with you guys previously, but I wanted to grab another one. It's just a female urinal so that it's easy if they're on a road where there's no bathrooms and they can't stop, or it's really late at night and they don't wanna stop. They can always use these little urinals. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those. Another thing that I wanted to grab because staying in hotel rooms, I mean, they are pretty safe, but you just never know, especially this day and age, things are crazy. But I saw that they had these little alarms for the doors and these are, you can use them anywhere. You could use them at home, you could use them on windows, doors, but you attach one to like the, um, the door frame and then one to the actual door and you turn it on and if the door opens and the sensor moves away from the base, it will sound an alarm for you to know that someone's either opening the window or opening the door. So I went ahead and picked up a few of these. I thought that these, I don't know, would just make everybody feel a little bit more safe. So I grabbed that. Another thing along that line, they had these portable door locks. So it's basically a metal piece that you fit into the door jam. Is it a door jam? Is that what it's called? Um, you know, where your, your door closes, the bolt clicks into the door jam. Anyways, this you have to stick in there when you shut the door and it won't allow somebody to get in if they're trying to open your door. So I went ahead and picked a few of these up. I didn't mention that this was $2.79. Next thing I wanted to share is this set of seat covers. So it actually came with two different packs and they each have 10 sheets. So a total of 20 sheets for toilet covers. So if you go to a rest stop or a restaurant or something, you go to use the bathroom, they don't have them. You can always pull these out of your backpack or purse. There you have it, nice and clean. You can use those. I mean, you don't even have to be traveling to use those just to keep them in your purse would be pretty handy. Moving right along, I went ahead and picked up these shoe bags. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when you pack your luggage, I pack my shoes in my luggage and sometimes I will put them in a bag. Sometimes I will just face the like the, the bottoms together and put them in so that nothing's touching the bottom of the shoe. But when I saw these, I'm like, you know what? It's worth it to get these, especially because I'm not gonna be with my daughter. I want her to make sure to keep like her clothes that are in her luggage clean. So they're just these little bags that open and you just shove your shoes in here. Where is the opening? Right here. So you just shove your shoes right in here 
and that is it. They don't have a string or anything. I thought that they came with like a drawstring or something and they don't. And I thought that they were more like plastic, but they're kind of like mesh. So I'm like, how does it keep it clean anyways? I don't know about these, you guys. Let me know if you've gotten these and if they've actually helped. But I'm still gonna have her put her shoes with the bottoms facing because again, this isn't like plastic or something. It's like see-through like mesh filling. Um, I don't know, but this came, I think, with like 20 or so. And I would say you could put one shoe in each bag, but I kind of feel like that's a waste. So I went ahead and got these. Hopefully they're worth it. I don't know. I think that they were only a couple dollars. Again, you could probably see the prices. I just can't remember them. So another thing that I went ahead and picked up is this cable for a phone or iPad. Now, sometimes these work at first and then they stop working. It's like the off brand. So, so I don't know. Sometimes it gives us problems and sometimes it works. So I don't know. Let me know why that happens. If you guys know, but it's basically just a car charger. Um, or even a charger, you just have the USB here, it connects to either a plug or inside your car if you have the little USB import there. And then it has an Apple attachment here. I'm pretty sure you can use it on um, iPads, but I'm, I know for sure it could be used on an iPhone. I'm guessing if you put it on a, an iPad, if you put it on an iPad, it may charge, but it may take a little bit longer, like a slower charge. And the last thing I have, call me crazy, but I think that these are great to have. They are little whistles. So if you have multiple kids with you, even if you're by yourself and you go shopping late at night or even in the evening dusk, I mean, honestly, if you go shopping at whatever time, things are crazy, people are crazy. I think everybody's going mad. Um, but you can always take a whistle with you and just use it to blow if somebody like is walking close to you or you feel like someone's following you or something's going on near your car. Just to have this, you don't have to necessarily wear it around your neck. You can even attach this to your keys and carry it on your key ring and then, you know, have it in your hand just in case you need it. Shoot, you could just swing it and hit somebody in the eyeball all right just do whatever you need to to be safe right um but yeah so we went ahead we have three of these my mom actually purchased these ones and i wanted to share those with you guys she purchased them and gave them to myself my sister and my sister-in-law to carry i still have to give them theirs um but i wanted to share with you guys because i'm going to have the girls take these with them and just to have with them you know on the road so that's the last oh no i have one more thing from timu these are actually like cable organizer type things and they are just these colorful little plastic pieces here that you wrap your cables around or inside and then you wrap it through here it just keeps everything together so i would just wind up the cord and kind of stick it in between here just to kind of hold it together so co the cord isn't all over the place or you don't have a really long cord especially in the car traveling you don't want to get tangled in it you don't want i don't know your blankets or your pillow or whatever you're traveling with to kind of get tangled up in that so i went ahead and picked this up as well comes with six of no i'm sorry it comes with five of them so my daughter could actually share these with her cousins and that is it from Timu. So moving from Timu, <laughs> moving from Timu into Daiso, I went ahead and saw that they had these portable, like it says etiquette bag, but what it really is, is a throw up bag. So I went ahead and picked up two packages of this. My daughter and my niece, they get car sick sometimes. So I thought having these, they probably won't need it. They really haven't thrown up in the car. They've just felt really sick and like they were going to. So just to kind of have these for like a safety net, um, I went ahead and just picked up two of them. So they're just these little throw up bags just in case you need them. They have the little instructions on the back. I mean, obviously, pretty sure you don't need the directions, but you never know. All right, the next thing I wanted to share with you guys, these are 
portable mini toilets. They are actually unisex, so you can use this for a male or female, and it's just like a bag with, here, I'll show it to you guys. See the, this part here is where you're actually going to pee in, and then it goes into the bag. That, it does have instructions here on the back. I think that this just comes with one, so I went ahead and grabbed two of them. Everybody in the family has one of these, and I'm just throwing these in just in case. Just because I saw them, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. All right, another thing I wanted to share. Now, this I actually got to go with these little alarms, and they are adhesive tack. It's kind of like the poster tack, so you can actually find this at the Dollar Tree. I kind of wish I got the one from the Dollar Tree just because I know it works but I'm pretty sure this one will work too. So you can use this to hang up posters and things like that, calendars, if you don't wanna like poke holes in the wall. But I got this specifically to just take some off and to put on the back of the little alarms because each hotel they stay in, they're gonna to have to remove it and take it with them. And we don't wanna damage the hotel rooms. So we thought that those, that this would work really well for that. So I'll probably have my sister try it out at the hotel room without turning the a little without turning the little alarm on <laughs> just in case it falls off the wall. We may do it actually before they leave. I'll probably just try it out here on my door um, just to kind of see how it works. I'm guessing you're going to want to kind of clean the surface before maybe with like a Clorox bleach wipe before you even attach this to it just to kind of give it more of a hold. But that is why I got this. Now, you guys can use this for whatever you need it for, but that's just an idea. Um, the last thing I'm going to share with you guys, I picked up these two packs of toothbrush holders. I figure that each one of the kids and my mom and my sister can use these. They are color coded. What I really liked about them is they have a little suction cup on the back. So instead of having to use um, like a toothbrush holder, sticking your toothbrush directly in the ones that close just to kind of keep them wet in the hotel or using a cup or something like that. They're, they're open. I just thought this was cool because they could attach them to the mirrors and then they stick their toothbrush in here so they don't get dirty. Um, yeah, so I thought that these were kind of cool and they were color coded. They're kind of cute. They have like these little cut out faces and expressions on them. So I went ahead and picked these up for them. But with all that being said, you guys, that is all I hauled. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope that this gave you some ideas on if you are going to be traveling, what is out there that you can actually purchase. If you're a woman, if you are, you know, a female traveling with kids, if you're just nervous anyways with your husband and you guys are going somewhere, these are some ideas that you can get for the hotel room. We have some fun items here. The fans I think will come in handy even though it seems strange, but you know how everybody's temperature kind of varies. Um, but yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment, give me a like. That will definitely help my channel in the YouTube algorithm. But I really wanna thank you guys. So be safe, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.